Hi kids, Bill from Northwest Wild Country. Let me tell you something, I never expected this was going to take off like it did. And unfortunately, we lost our video, so we're here doing a brand new one for you. This is all about the rastical. Now, people wonder how this got to be, and I said, well, you can ask a hundred people what their favorite kokanee lure is, and they all have a few things in common. They have flash, they have UV, they have glow, they have action, and they got to look good in profile. Now, what you want is a lure that has all of these, and that was kind of how the rastical, rastical got started. Now, to start off, you have to have a fly tying vise like this one. And uh, get yourself a bobbin with some bright thread in it, and you have to have all of your tying materials here. What I have here is Everglow Flash, Fish Hair, I have Crystal Flash, and um, Crystal Mirror Flash. Now, what I have here, of course, I've got your UV, I've got your sparkle, your tinsel, your movement, I got your glow, and I got your color. That's what you need for a good kokanee or sockeye lure, and that's what we got here, okay, kids? You got to start off with a good hook. Now, if you're going to be a sockeye fisherman, you're going to want something in a one aught. Now, for kokanee, I use a number one, but these are Gamakatsu drop shot split shot hooks. They're the best hooks I've ever found for fishing for kokanee or sockeye, okay? And a lot of guys are using them now. You're not going to beat this hook. It's sharp. It's thin. It's got the perfect profile. Now, the number one sounds large. It is, and it's about the same size as a number two, which we all use. Now, what I have here is the basis of the rascal already put together for you. Now, what you see here is there's two hooks that are separated by uh, three-quarters of an inch between the top eye of the trailer hook and the bottom of the other one. Okay, that's three quarters, almost three quarters of an inch right there, separation. And that, that hook hanging back there is what gets 90% of your strikes. You're going to want to tie this with two hooks. And what you see in between here is Power Pro. That is 30 or 40 pound Power Pro in between there. The reason I use the Power Pro or that kind of line is because teeth won't cut it. You can do this with mono, but you're going to wind up retying this a whole bunch. And after you build these, you're not going to want to keep making it over and over again, okay? The Power Pro means you can catch a whole bunch of fish. And you can see by these, the red is worn off of these hooks, right? I've caught so many kokanee on these hooks right here. They've taken the red right off of it. And the Power Pro is still in great shape. Now, to tie this up... You do it like you're tying up a herring rig. A couple of uh, bumper knots will put this together. Now, once you tie your bottom bumper knot up, get it right, do your top bumper knot, and then trim it so the whole thing just sits right here so you can add your leader to it later, okay? This is what you start with. Put it in your vise. Now, we're ready to start building the rasticle. Now, start it off by, of course, getting your thread ready to go. And it doesn't really matter which color or ones you want to start with first. It doesn't really matter because uh, what you do want to do is not use too much. Now, <clears throat> beginning fly fishermen will do this quite often, or anybody who hasn't, is not used to building fly fishing stuff, they use too much material. Now, these fish, you want to keep it narrow profile, right? So we're just going to use three or four strands a piece on all these. So I got my flash, I got my color, I got my glow, and I got my UV. You want to mix it all up nice. So I'm going to start off with just, uh, I got my three strands of glow. We'll go glow first. Tie that in. Okay, there's my glow. You want to keep that rear hook out of the way the best you can because if that catches in your hands, we're done. <laughs> we're, good. we're going to the hospital. Okay, I take my flash. I'll take three, st three strands of my mirror flash. And I'll tie that in. A couple of wraps. Secure it. Then I'll take my UV. Yeah, man. When do we use UV, Dwayne? All the time. There you go. All right, I got three or four strands of UV. I'm gonna put tie those in there. Okay, I got my UV. Now I got now I want my color. So I got my three or four strands of pink uh, pink fish hair. You can use just about anything. As long as it's hot pink, throw it in there. It's all good. And what I've been doing lately, I learned this from a guy in American Lake who's been, you know, it's, it's all, whatever you want to do with this, you know, it's, a, it's you want to build it your way, go ahead. He was, he's been using a couple of strands of red, this red flashaboo, and he said it works really good. So you know what I did? I just went, yeah, I went out and bought some red flashaboo, and you know what we're going to do? We're going to put some of that red flashaboo in there with it also. Again, I'm not going to put that hook in my hand if I can help it. There we go. 
Now that looks pretty good. Now what I've done is I'm wrapping right over the knot, okay? And that looks pretty darn good. Now how much do I use? How much of this hanging back? Now I like to make it hanging back so it's just even with the, t with the, uh, with the back trailer hook. And I'll trim it right there. That's plenty of flash and it doesn't interfere with your trailer hook and how it moves. And doesn't that look great? You've got color. You've got UV, you've got your flash, you've got everything a good kokanee lure needs right here, and it's right here in front of you now. What you put on top of this, you can put a spinning glow on top of this, you can put a smile blade on top of this, you can do a, blade, a regular uh, spinner blade, anything you want. Like so Dwayne has here, what he's been using over in, over in Roosevelt, so he's got spinner blades on these, put a little LP shrimp, you can slide on top of it, you put any color beads, He's got his uh, smile blades on top of there. You can see what he's done. These are tremendous. It's all up to you what you want to do. See, I got spinning glows on these, smile blades on these. I got sh I got squids on them. But the basic for the bottom is is that rascal. Or you just want to do a classic rascal. There it is, right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is nothing but a smile blade, a couple of beads for contrast. You now three beads get it up and away for open up your bite area. And that thing right there on a, I tie mine on a 14 inch leader. I measure it from the back hook to the top of the snap so I'm not tying any knots. I'm just taking this right off my board and clipping it right on. That seems to work great for sockeye and kokanee. Now it's a whole length. I'm not just measuring the uh, line in between. By the way, that's 15 pound fluorocarbon I got in there. It works great for, for kokanee. I'll go up to 20 pound when I go for sockeye. There's the difference. But now, okay, I got my, my rasticles pretty much done. I'm just making my final wraps here. I'm going to do a couple of, couple of overhanded just half hitches to tie it on there. I'm going to trim it. But I'm not done yet. Oh, no, sir. Now, look, that looks pretty good just like that, but i got to make it real good. I'm going to take some hot pink. Pow! See that? The hot pink. Take a little bit of that. And I'm going to make, I'm going to put some hot pink on the head. And I don't have a brush with me, so I'm just going to use some, borrow my uh, stuff from this. And I'm just going to put a little hot pink dab on there. And I'm going to run some, just do that. Just cover that. What I'm doing is I'm sealing the, uh, the thread, and I'm making a nice hot pink head on that thing. There we go. I'm going to let that dry before I pull it off of there. But you got an awesome hot pink head, which looks great too. You put, I usually do both hooks. Do the front hook and the bottom hook. Cover it with hot pink just for some little extra added uh, protection for the knot against the teeth. And But more than anything else, it looks awesome. You cannot be a couple little dots of hot pink. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the rascal. Do what you want with it. Make it. I highly recommend this. If you haven't made this, if you haven't tried it, you got to do it. And once you start making the rascal and fishing it and your success rate goes skyrocketing, you'll make some more. This is Bill from Northwest Wild Country. Welcome to Rascal Nation, folks.